Vedantu Early Learning When C goes Did you know the letter C can also make the sound like in the word circle Hang tight because in this video we are going to find out the reason together Hello spelling wizards I am Angel your spelling buddy and I am back with another spelling rule that tells you when to use the k sound or the s sound for the letter C. So, buckle up, gather round and let the C symphony begin. So, today we are looking at various sounds letter C can make. Like every other alphabet, letter C also has its own unique sound. Sound, which is k, like in the words carrot, coin, camel. So here's your first rule of the day. Letter C makes the k sound when it is followed by the vowels a, o, or u. Let's look at a few examples: cap, cob, cup. Now try reading these words. Cell, rice, pencil. Did you notice the sound of the letter C in these words is no more a k. It is s. To answer when do they change their sounds, let's look at another rule. Letter C makes the s sound, which is also called the soft C sound, when it is followed by the vowels. I, E and Y. Let's look at a few examples. Ice, city, cycle. Time to test your knowledge. Guess what sound does the letter C make in these pictures? Time for an easy homework assignment. You'll have to find out which words make the k or the s sound in these sentences. Now, before we wrap up today's spelling party, there's another sound of letter C that I want to teach you. Do you recognize this letter? Yes, it is H. Letter H alone makes this sound. <sighs> but guess what happens when the letters C and H decide to join forces? They make the sound like in the words chair, bench, watch, chest. So, next time you see the letters C and H together, you'll already know they make the sound ch, ch, ch. Alright? As they say, no rules are without exceptions. If you know any exception to this rule, do share them with us in the comment section below. And if you are interested in learning more such spelling rules, then don't forget to ring that notification bell, hit like, share and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.